сейчас. Welcome back, everybody, to the Star Ladder Star series. We are here with Team Empire up against Fota. Joining me is, well, once again, much like last night, is Winter, and he's here to cast one of the teams that I know he likes. He's here for Empire. Are you excited to cast? I don't know if you've casted many European games before. I guess this is almost a first for you as well, Winter. Yeah, this is the first time I'm casting European games. Well, we've got Empire up against Fota, and after this we've got Na'Vi playing Go Fota's Pro. Is Goblin playing now? Um, Goblin, I believe, is 3-3-3, three, three, three. Um, I, I assume, unless they're playing with a stand-in, but I, I can only assume that 3-3-3 three, three, three is in fact Go Black. As I, oh yeah, she's not drafting anymore. No, not drafting it for the time being, which is, I guess, Empire something new for Empire. I'm actually a very big big fanboy of his drafting. He's very ballsy in his drafts. Likes to pick very unique heroes that not any, not all the team uses. Yeah, this is this is still looking like a sort of traditional Empire draft though, with the Dark Seer um, early, which will be playing in the offlane, and they've got the Keeper of Light and the Bane. Uh, they've got a really strong du du duo of supports there. They do give up the Undying as well as the Mag, but I think Empire have got sort of the better off as far as, they've got a very versatile um, a team draft so far. They can run Darkseer as a mid lane, Five they can run him in the safe lane and go offensive tri lane. They've really got a lot of options here with these three heroes. Yeah, and I know every team in Europe that goes against Empire bans this. Definitely, no one's giving Phonic his bits. That's not something I see in the C scene, or even in the Chinese teams. Yeah, it's really, I mean, it's, Empire is the, and, and it's some teams like you occasionally give them Wisp, like Fnatic play Wisp really well, as do Liquid, but it's not always a must ban hero, but against Empire, it's like 100% Wisp almost is always getting banned out, and as soon as it hits level 6, it, I mean, I, I think Goblack has said, once Wisp hits level 6, the game is over, they just win, <laughs> that's all they need <laughs> is Wisp to hit level 6, and then, up, oh, game is easy, um, Although we'll have to see what, that, see how they do without a Wisp here. They're going to need to look to pick up some of their sort of carry or semi-carry type heroes. And I mean, there's there's still quite a few of them left in this pool. Especially if they want to run something like a Life Sealer in that tri lane. Then they can look to sort of get a very, very aggressive lane being built. Yeah, and it's a very good combination they already have with their two supports. The Sleep and the Illuminate. And follow up by the Bane Sap. That's really a lot of damage in the lane already. Ah. Uh, you know, there's some there's one combination in the past where teams do Bane Elemental Sleep plus the Torrent with the Keeper of the Light. I don't know if you've seen this before in the one. It's actually very strong and I wonder if Empire would do something like this game. Because the Conquer could be very useful, the type bringer could kill off all the zombies in one hit. Yep. Yeah. So it could synergize well and do well against the uh actually I don't know what team is this, uh Fota. Fota is a, a Russian team. I don't know a whole lot about them. I, I, I recognize one or two of their players' names from, from basically playing in Star Ladder, but uh, they, they were seconds, sort of a, a not very well-known Russian team. Okay. Five seconds remaining. But, I mean, so is, I, Russia's right. like one of those countries where they just have countless teams and they've got so many Sorry. like strong teams. It's kind of like, I mean, China or even like something like the Philippines where there's just team after team. They've got so much depth there where, where these Tier 2 and Tier 3 teams can actually still compete with some of the top teams. I see. Now they really have a very strong lineup to deal with uh, those type of carries that needs magic immunity. You have Shadow Demon and the reverse polarity from the Magnus. And they could still go down to having maybe a Sven combination with the Magnus because that's like what the European teams like to do, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they spend a lot of time doing that, although uh, it, it still does fit with their lanes if they play the Sven as the farmer with the Shadow Demon and Undying. Uh, we do that's see... A we do see carries, carries being banned out. They got Life Sealer, Lone Druid, as well as Luna, all banned out by Empire. So they're sort of worried about what can go in that trial and what can be played as a farmer. And for Fota, they banned Funix's, they banned his Clinks, uh, Nature's Prophet, as well as but, Queen of Pain getting banned out as well. For God, if they pick up, uh, if I'm not wrong, for Team Empire, if they have a Dark Sir, they never actually pick a Clinks already because it's a. Same player using the hero. Yeah. Oh, they, 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 it's not just uh, funny who plays the Darks here. They have, a, they have um, other players who also play the Darks here on occasion. I've seen SS play the Darks here before. 
Um, if they've even run Darkseer as a solo mid once or twice, so I, uh, they, it's it's not funny. It's not just funny who plays the Darkseer, but for now they pick up Brewmaster. This I, I really miss seeing this hero. I definitely think he somewhat gets overlooked by a lot of teams, and I'm most likely going to be played as a solo mid. I imagine for Scandal. Yeah, and the Brewmaster Ten ultimate seconds. would be definitely very good, useful in destroying the tomb during the fights. That's very good pickup to go up remaining. against the Undying. And it's also a very, very, very strong mid-game hero. As you can see, like, see the Fota, they have Magnus Undying. It shows that they are going for a mid-game oriented lineup to five men and push down your towers. And Brewmaster is a very good setup to counteract those pushers, to defend those towers with his primal split. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is your, is your mic and headphone on as normal? Because I'm actually getting a bit of echo coming from your headset or something. Or maybe, And your, your micro, microphone is, is kind of a bit weird, weird the quality. Uh, I don't know. I tested it before, but <laughs> I tried to open my stream and get people to listen, and it was okay. All right. It, seem, it sounds a bit better now. I think it was maybe just a temporary thing. Hopefully, it's all okay. Hold on. I'll try to... Yeah, I don't know. I'll try to adjust... Yeah, it, it's mostly just like a bit, a bit staticky. Is it the Dota TV or? Skype? No, no, no. It's just the, it's the Skype. I, I I can't hear you in Dota TV. Although I, that's because I have you muted. Okay, so is it better right now? Yeah, it it seems fine right now. Okay. So it should be all good. I'm not getting any echo and static anymore. I think uh, it was because it was too near my. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, right. back to the game where oh silencer. This is <laughs> team pick. Oh this well. is very <laughs> I I personally don't understand how it's the best way to utilize the silencer because we tried in screams to use him as a carry in a mid lane, but he has that problem where he can't control the rune and he needs a lot of farm. But he's strong in the lane to dominate the opponent. But later on I really don't know how to put this hero. Like he needs so much farm, and it's difficult for him to farm because he doesn't have a spell that helps him to farm. It's more like he needs to join the fight as well, but he needs a lot of farm at the same time. Yeah. So I really don't know how to put this hero in a job. Do you put him as a position one hero or a position two hero or as a support? Like what the Chinese teams used to do last time, very long ago. Yeah, it's. I think it's. I mean, especially and if you play him as a support, you don't really get the early levels. And last word is so powerful. It's kind of like your bread and butter skill now with the silencer. So, um, it's it's really it's it's kind of a conf He's a strong hero. He's just hard to like include in a draft, like you say. And oh, Templar Assassin, actually the last pick coming out from Empire. So possibly not gonna be Brewmaster in the mid lane. Maybe we see Templar Assassin go mid played by Scandal because that's kind of one of his signature heroes at times. Brewmaster keep off the light and being. That's yeah. a very scary trilane. Yeah, I mean, Brewmaster, you kind of want to get the fast level 6, but when you've got such a dominant trilane, you can sort of hold off on having that level 6 just because, because of how much you can dominate with that. Yeah, sleep, clap, illuminate. That's... If you get caught at the bad position, you're instantly dead. Five and Dark Seal will be very good against Magnus. I assume that if Magnus is put on the off lane and Dark Seal gets a 1v1 yeah, situation yeah, against the movie hero. Venomets uh, are going to be the last pick coming out, so most likely we're looking at Undying as, as like a farmer for this trialing. I think they're going to be playing this trialing with Undying farming. They've got Silencer most likely played as a solo mid and Mag to go into the side lane solo. So Silencer is going mid or something? Maybe. Wait. Maybe they send Venomance mid even, like to deal with the Templar Assassin. Maybe they go for something like a dual lane. Like some of the, I mean, some of the teams in the past have run sort of a dual lane with a Venomancer to help shut down a TA. It could be and something the that's so for. Silencer could be good against... I think Silencer will be good against TA if you scale the Curse of the Silence. It's going to eat away all the Reflection Charge as well. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So I, I think Silencer can do okay there, although if if Templar Assassin gets a fast bottle and just sort of uses uses the career to con con continuously refill the bottle, then TA can... I, I imagine Outlast hit a Silencer. You've got the extra damage. It should be a lane where uh, TA does get an edge as far as farm goes. Mm, I... I think, you know, I think Shell Demon, Dirge, and the Venom will be the tri lane, and Magnus and the Silencer will be both the solo lanes. I think that could happen. But I don't know who's the solo player of the team, because I have no idea. I've never seen this team play. Oh, they're sending Venomancer as an offlane solo, it looks like. 
prepare for battle is heading down towards the bottom lane. He's got solo items, and it's not solo mid, because Magnus has gone for three branches as well as Tango's. He's going to be soloing the mid lane. And then it, it's a trial in, but with Undying, as well as Shadow Demon, and then we've got the, uh, the Silencer being played by Zara. So not the lanes I would have expected, for sure. But Silencer was also very strong against 3 versus 3 matchup because of the Silent That is very strong if you get a matchup 3 versus 3 in a lane. Yeah. It's not going to be fun for the supports to go up against that. Well, it will be that 3 versus 3 matchup. We have got Empire sending Blow Your Brain on the Panda. We've got Funic playing Keep. Funic actually playing Keeper of the Light here. And we've got Bane I in the hands of God Black. Try lane up top. You know what? They're sending the Venom and the TA is going to be at bottom. <laughs> oh. Empire. Okay, for I, I, for Fortal, we have prepared for battle on the Venomancers, Heals on the Magnus, the Wapsa on the Undying, Die on the Shadow Demon, and Zara on the Silencer. Yeah, we'll see Scandal at bottom lane playing Templar Assassin. And I, I guess. Venom has the Illusion Rune <sighs> even at the start. Oh my god, this is going to be very good for him. This is the one hero that. They sent Templar Assassin bottom just to avoid this matchup. They're like, oh, it's not going to be Venom bottom, it's going to be Mag bottom. I wonder if they switch lanes. No, Scandal's still going to be heading bottom, but he's going to quickly find out it's a solo Venomancer. And it's it's going to be... It's painful, but it's, it's still his safe lane, so he has his own tower there. It's hard for Venomancer to harass too much, but it's not an ideal scenario. He's, it's just like mind games. I think probably both of the teams understood each other very well. This is something like when you know the team, what are they thinking and what they are going to do, you do stuff like that to mess around with them. I think they will change the lanes. There's no way this this way is not going to be good for yeah. them. Yeah. Uh, Dax is already left mid lane. Dax is heading towards bottom and TA. Uh, I imagine we'll go, go towards that middle lane. It will be. It will slow down the TA who wants to get that fast bottle up. So it's definitely going to hurt. But it's <laughs> it's. I think it's a necessary switch that Empire just have to make now. Yeah, and look at the ward battles at top. And as I mentioned before, it's very important to have this uh, the ward here when you're up against the keeper of the light, so you can know when is he charging the illuminate, so you can you can dodge the illuminate. You can't afford to take too much of the harassment from the illuminate in the lane. Yeah, that's yeah. a very good ward there. And I'm surprised that Empire didn't actually anticipate that. And because usually when we're on uh, my team and we scream and we have keeper of the light, we usually always have sentry wards on places where we think that. People will want our Eggles and Sentry. Yeah, they, they, they do now manage to bring it out now. As a photo now going to get basically put under a lot of pressure with this Illuminate once it starts coming out. No actual, no real XP gain coming from the, the top trial. For Empire, I mean, you've got Keeper of Light and Bane really not getting any XP out of this. And you'd like to get those additional points coming the Keeper of Light's way, especially for the Illuminate. So all in all, the trial lane, I mean, Fota are getting slightly more XP out of this, but it's still not, it's, it's still very much in the balance. I was wrong. Look at the skill build of the silencer. He's not going for curse of the silent at all. I thought he would go for it, but they're going in. Yeah, the disruption. Look, we'll just use somewhat defensively. They're not going to fully commit to this. There's no follow up, and this is this is the problem with the trialing for Fota. They've, I mean, silencer does do well in a three v three matchup, but they haven't got any ability to three v three fight when they've got no follow up sum for the shadow demon. They're going to drop down a tombstone here, but this is just going to get farmed up by Empire. They do take it down. Bit of gold goes the way of Bane. Gold Black going to take that, although. Panda and Brewmaster takes a last word damage. He's going to be forced to salve up. He's got a magic stick, though, so I guess that's partly why you also don't want to go for the curse, because it, when your opponents have magic stick, you can just easily use that curse, heal yourself back up, get some mana here and there. You don't want to really be spamming too much, and we can kind of see the weaknesses of Foda's trialing here. I mean, they're not really in danger of getting killed just yet, but they're not really able to do all that much with their trialing. All they can maybe look to do is use some pools for the time being. Yeah, but I still think Curse of the Silent will be good because if you hit it, it's very easy to hit it on at least two heroes and they are so mana dependent, Bane and Keeper of the Light. It could be very good in the lane. Oh, it's his decision. Yeah. I don't really agree with this because the try lane, it's always better to get the curse than the single target last word. Yeah, we'll have to see how Foda look to play this top lane now. With the lane being pushed out, this is going to get harder for them to battle. And if there's one Nightmare that lands, it pretty much guarantees a, a Thunderclap coming out from the Brewmaster, and as well as the Illuminate. Especially once Keeper Light hits level 3, this top lane gets very difficult for Foda. Yeah, the harassment would be too much for them, and I don't really think there's any way, like you've mentioned, that Foda will get any kills in a challenge because of the way the heroes work. They're just being very defensive. 
Yeah, their trial line just isn't built for getting kills. I, I think they, they pretty much don't want to be going for kills. They want to be using pools, denying as much farm and XP from Empire as they can by using these pools because as long as they can sort of prevent Empire from getting too many levels, this top trial line still works out okay for them. We're actually seeing Brewmaster possibly overextend here. We'll see a tombstone being dropped here. Oh, he's completely surrounded. The Disruption Illusion is going to trap Blow Your Brain and Blow Your Brain is going to be the first blood foda. Shadow Demon, Dine picks up first blood and... I, Empire just threw too much early on there, and well, Brewmaster got a bit unlucky being trapped behind around those trees with those illusions, but he only really has himself to blame. Uh, it was really greedy by them. They were thinking they wanted to steal all the pool creeps with the clap and the illuminate, and they paid their price for that. And yeah, yeah I have to agree that the Shadow Demon got somewhat lucky that the Brewmaster got stuck in that position in, in the tree there. Yeah, he, he definitely a bit of luck going his way, but all in all, I mean. It was it was still the Brewmaster putting himself in that poor position as uh, looking at the, some of these other lanes. Templo Assassin Meters managed to break, basically catch up to the mag. 18 denies for Scandal. He's <laughs> equal CS, but he's got so many denies. He's got himself with a DD room right now, and Scandal is just so he's strong like at last oh. hitting. He looks like he was disconnected there. He was just standing there, and the creeps were killing him. I, I, I think he didn't want to bring the creep wave under his tower or something because he was just he was keeping the creep wave equilibrium there. Yeah, yeah, I think that was what he was doing. <laughs> I thought he was like, huh, oh, am I? Well, we'll see another bit of a, a... Empire looking to pressure again this pool. This time they will get, steal the creeps. The clap from Blow Your Brain does steal both the Sentinels here, but there's going to be a counter initiation, Tombstone as well as a disruption. This is the problem for Foda. They don't have any lockdown. The only lockdown they have is when they manage to luck out and basically trap RP. a hero with some trees. But there's an RP. Mag comes in from the side, finishes off Funic. Rotation coming from the solar mid mag and... Foda get themselves another kill, but it's at the cost of an RP. Max completely out of mana. He's going to have to go back to base and heal himself up, I imagine. And TA, Scandal, can just go back mid and keep on farming. I think he might even just go back to the lane because he's just uh, 100 gold short of the arcane boots. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he needs to be careful. He doesn't even have mana for a skewer away, so if TA wants to get aggressive, I'm going in on top. see that. Sleeping to lead things off here. Zara actually taking a lot of damage. Needs a couple more right clicks coming out from Funic as well as 333. Not going to happen. He does manage to escape from that one. Foto, they can't really. Ca That's the real big issue. When Empire go in them, they can't. They can't basically counter initiate. All they can do is use a defensive disruption, maybe a defensive tombstone and run. But they haven't got any slows really, and they haven't got any stuns. Yeah, uh, and bottom lane scandal rotated to pick off the Vanal. They're going to be having a very huge uh, CSD in both of their solo lanes right now. Yeah, and the, the offlane Venom, I mean, he does well in the 1v1 matchup for the most part, but it's kind of like this mid game where you give Venom all these levels and farm, but he's not really a hero who can use those levels and farm to much great effect. I mean, compare it to a hero like the Mag, who's great with all these levels, Venomancer doesn't quite do the same thing. Yeah, Venom Monster is like a bit of old school because we used the Man Venom Monster before to basically just take levels and use the wards to defend against creatures and hold the mid lane. That's what Venomancer is good at and apart from that, in team fights, he doesn't contribute as much as something like a Blue Master, Darcy, or even like a Mag you mentioned. Venom just doesn't do, do, do that much on the Yeah, as uh, top lane is pretty much under siege right now by Empire. They've got this wall behind the tower. They're actually going to sleep up, die. They need the Illuminate. It's coming in with a clap. He's going to do a self-disruption. I think it's still going to hit. It does still hit. Die, he needs just one more right click. Goblet gets himself the kill. Zara now on the run. TP coming in from Venomancer. He wants to turn things around here. He's actually got two points in the Gale. Goblack now finds himself in a bit of trouble. He does have a Brain Sap level 2 force to use. He's just going to try to fight his way out of this one. But Mag. Mag is also shown up on the top lane. Bane takes a fall. Keeper of the Light. Another blast going through. Finishes off the Venomancer with the help of Brewmaster. Takes takes his own life at the at the cost from Mag. And as a Silencer. Now looking to do, deal with this Brewmaster. He has a speed now. Yeah, oh, level six up. I, think they can, I, I don't think they can fight this. This is not gonna. Go, this is not gonna go well for Foda if they try fight into this Brewmaster. He's got clap as well as mana for a primal split. And with this yeah, ward behind tower, it's once this this ward needs to be dealt with. Foda need to get a sentry up here ASAP. Yeah, and there's no RP for them as well. He used it twice in a row just for a keep of the light. Yeah, both times it was a solo keeper of the light. As uh, Funic does, no, no, he doesn't actually get hit by that shadow poison. It does sort of look to spawn him out, but. This top trialing is in trouble now for Foda. Brewmaster just needs to find the clap, get the ultimate off. Oh dear, another even makes his two heroes. Yeah. There's uh, bottom lane. SS is putting a lot of pressure on this tier 1 tower as well. That's down to about 400 HP. Venomancer 
time spent ganking top, and well, he's just, I mean, he's got the three points in the play to help defense slightly, but Dan this is a very good play from Empire. Uh, Skander's moving in round, now, right after you push up the lanes, and Mag GP to me, though, they know they have a position I might take right now. They're going yeah. to that spot. There's no chance here for Shadow Demon. Shadow Demon's going to go down. Defensive Tombstone going to be used here. Are they? Yeah, they're going to focus down the Tombstone. This is going to help them dive under this tower because Brewmaster, not, yeah. he's popped the ultimate. Venomance TP's in, and We'll have to see if he can turn things around here. Scandal has not been slowed, and Scandal's going to finish off this Venomancer on the side if he can keep up. Doesn't have mana for another Refract just yet. May look to pop this magic one. Meanwhile, Bane gets himself two more kills. Bane that hits at level six as well. Grips up the mag. Mag takes a fall. Venomancer didn't actually go down on the sides here, but, well, three kills going the way of Empire. Shadow Demon TP's back in, and this looks like he's just TP'd into his own death here. Gale coming out from Venomancer going to try to slow down the chase to blow your brain, but... There's no surviving this. Illuminate. Actually, not Illuminate. Bane actually gets the kill. He's on a dominating streak. And Venomancer, he's clapped up. He's on the run. And he's going to take a fall as well. I think that was five kills, maybe even six kills going the way of Empire, all in that one fight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six kills. They killed Shadow Demon twice. <laughs> yeah. it's, it came down to the fact that they had the heroes to do it. So they had very strong heroes in the lane. Keeper of the Light, Bane. These two heroes deal so much damage, we talked about it before, and they picked it up. It's going to be so devastating for them. And Fota, because they picked up the Venor, the Venor can't actually do too much in that fight. Yeah. You give him so yeah. much levels, but he's not able to do a, hell, a huge lot of defense in the fight. Scandal playing so, so aggressive. He's going to get first down under the uh, under enemy tier 2 tower, but... I I think Empire getting a bit too overconfident there. That was just uh, was a bit of cockiness coming out from Scandal with that haste rune. Mag quite happy to use an RP to get a solo kill, especially on an important hero like a Templar Assassin at this point in the game. Just I just think Photon now they're just in so much of a trouble. They don't have any really reliable DPS right now to to bring forward to the mid and late game. And if they lose the early game this badly, they are just going to be in so much trouble in the next five to ten minutes. Yeah, and the gold the gold graph is looking pretty ugly for them. Five k difference. Even with the kill going their way, this is... Empire have yet to really start taking down towers, and there's a few towers that they'll quickly take down with another team fight. If they win another fight at this top lane, uh, or just, I mean, create space at either mid or bottom, they're going to be looking to get some additional towers. Uh, bottom lane's already taken a lot of damage as well. Venom... Sorry, not Venomancer. Silence is actually down at the bottom lane now trying to defend this and uh, deal with this Darkseer, but all in all, I mean, it's Empire who just have complete map control. Who's actually pulled in? He's pulled in the Darkseer. Yeah. TP going to be coming in, not good, actually TP's at, just after the Illuminate comes in luckily, and that's the Undying, so he's here with the Tombstone, level 3 only, would definitely like to hit level 6, level 7, get his ultimate on the playing field, the Flesh Golem, and as well as that 4th point in that Tombstone. Uh, this top lane has been <laughs> the action of the whole game right now for the <laughs> first 12 minutes. And I think Empire can take things slow right now. Just try to maybe take down the two outer towers. The two tier 1 towers in the mid and bottom. Don't really have to commit too much at top. Yeah, it looks like that's what they're going to do here. Make sure they can get this top tier 1 town. If Blow Your Brain gets this, this is his Blink Dagger. He's going to have a Blink Dagger up. they're going to try to kill the mid lane. They're going to try to kill mid lane. RP's up in 10 seconds. Look for another solo RP. They're not even going to use an RP here. They're just going to go in with a Sentry Ward here. Shadow Demon leads things off with the disruption. Skewered back in Scandal. Uh, there's no hope for him. There's a Bane TP, but Bane is too late. They use every, I mean, they used everything they have. They didn't use an RP, but they did even drop a Tombstone just for the one kill. Empire aren't yeah. happy about it. They're bringing in the rotation. Blow your brain, leading the charge here. He's going to get surged up. You don't need a Blink Dagger when you've got that surge, and Venomancer will be the first to take a fall if... if oh, if, if oh, Panda has his way. RP being used just on the Panda. They need to bring him down fast. They do. Silencer with the ultimate silencing and preventing him getting the ultimate off. Now Darkseer going to take a fall as well. Fota. Under their own tower, find a great, great fight, although they are going to lose Mag at this at this rate. Templar Assassin is TP'd in, looking to turn things around, looking to bring some damage to Fota, but really smart fight from Fota. They killed off the Brewmaster, then they got the Darks here. Mag Ultimate as well as Silencer Ultimate being used, but that, at, this point in the, at this point in the game, if they don't use that to prevent the Brewmaster Ultimate, they lose that fight horribly wrong. Yeah, but I still think that there was a small window of opportunity for Scan, uh, for the Blue Master to pop his ultimate. He waited a little bit too long and he got silenced. Yeah. He was a bit yeah. too greedy. He, he, he wanted to really just sort of get a couple extra right clicks on Venomance. I think I think he was hoping that they could kill off the Venomance and he could use his ultimate elsewhere, but it wasn't to be. Oh, God Black getting so aggressive. Four stuffs in yeah. under a tier 2 tower looking for a nightmare. Knowing this Venomancer is nice. It's not the first nice time in this game you see the Brewmaster being greedy. First time it was at the pole camp at top and costing yeah. his life, and second, 
No, you see him being greedy again in the mid lane. And he doesn't go for the Bleak Dagger. He actually picks up a Drum of Endurance. So it gives himself some extra movement speed, get, gets his team the aura, and a lot of extra stats that he's going to get out of this as well. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes he even goes for more HP items because he needs to live through that silence and pop his speed after that. I, or he just goes for a DKB to just DKB out of the silence they got. Yeah, we'll have to see uh, whether Foda can actually defend these towers here. Problem is, Brewmaster Ultimate is still up. Everything pretty much for Empire is up. Only thing they're missing is this Bane Ultimate, and that's up in about 10 seconds time. Gem also being picked up by Go Black now. Empire really just want to get complete other map control. Starve their opponents. They're going to take a tier 1 tower here. And it looks like the, they want to just keep on pushing. They're not going to slow down here. Go Black coming in from the side. Doesn't he be a bit careful here? He has got this gem, so... He even has a fast staff. Yeah, he's so, he's so rich. That fight at top lane where they got six kills, he got five kills up oh, there. He's in each other. Oh, gosh, he's going to have to get a really big force up here. Deafening Blast! <laughs> oh. Of all the times for a, for a Deafening Blast. Sorry, not Deafening Blast, Blinding Light blinding coming light. out from the Keeper Light. And now we see a big engagement. Tombstone's actually in the middle of things. This time Brewmaster does get an ultimate as well. TA Scandal there in the middle of things with Ice a back. lot of damage. Double damage runes there. Undying as well as Mag. They both buy back. Mag does have an RP. Can he find the opening for it? They've only brought down Darkseid so far. Venomance has slowed down. Scandal needs to get away from this Mag because Mag is going to happily RP once again. He's already used a few to kill off Scandal. Behind, it's oh. Blow Your Brain. Blow Your Brain's actually caught out here. He's alone. He's going to get RP'd up. Oh, can TA actually turn this around? He's got a full magic wand, though. Blow Your Brain pops his magic wand, and now he's alive. Fiend's Grip takes out the mag. Undying going to be the next one to get focused down. Actually, Venomancer getting nightmared up, and now TA decides to go for the Undying. Leaves the Venomancer for his team. Those two heroes both going to go down, unless Undying can get out of there. He does. Lives on 40 HP. I thought that Illuminate would have finished him off. Templar Assassin actually takes a fall from Silencer. That damage over time does some work on him, and... Fota, it's not a good fight for them, but at least they sort of, they don't get completely wiped out there. Uh, but I, I still don't like their chances. They don't have too much farm on their Silencer, which is played as a row number one. And in the mid game, if Silencer doesn't have, have any items, they don't have any means of dealing damage from right clicks. They have nothing, no form of damage at all. They just all rely on all their spells. Yeah, it seems to be the biggest issue right now for them that none of their heroes have any farm. Their highest, their two, I mean, basically their three core heroes are all hovering around that 35 to 45 CS mark. And then you look at the Radiant team, Empire, you've got 100 CS on the Darkseer, Templar Assassin around 80, and even the Brewmaster, who was in that Trilane versus Trilane scenario, he's sitting on 60 right now. So there's a, just a huge farm lead for Empire. And, I mean, even though they're, they're just up by a couple of kills, but the XP lead is there as well. They've got about 10k XP on the opponents, and that's a, making a big difference right now. It's a level 2 Brewmaster Ultimate. You've got Darkseer up to level 12, and all these heroes with a big, big level lead. And does this. Yeah, Scandal. <laughs> I, I feel Fojo is spending a lot of time, like, ganking off one hero with four or five. Like, they're four or five men ganking a solo hero, and that's why the kills they're getting aren't rewarding them with, this, uh, with that much XP. Whereas when Empire getting kills, they're getting the in big team fights. so difficult to bring him down because they don't really have the heroes yeah. that has burst damage and strong stuns. That's why they need so many heroes to just to kill one TA. It's such a big commitment as uh, SS needs to be careful here in the jungle. Photo actually sniffing around for him. They have got a purge here, so we can't just rely on his ultimate. Uh, sorry, on his surge to get out of here. If Dai can catch up with yeah. a disruption, Ooh, not going to reach him. T1 bottom tower is going to be what Foda wants. I think they're going to fight at bottom. Yeah, I, I have that feeling as well. Unfortunately, Brewmaster is still short of his blink dagger. Oh, he's got enough gold for it now. We may see him pick that one up. He needs 10 more seconds for his ultimate. Yeah, his, his blink dagger is actually being picked up. Scandal's just going to go blinking right in. Scandal, he wants okay, the Undying. Oh. Can they bring the Undying down fast enough? They wanted to kill, kill him up before the tombstone. They don't succeed in doing so. They take down the Silence, though. Undying soon to follow. TA just charging on in. Going to take down the Shadow Demon as well. One by one, Fota. They're all falling down. Templar Assassin with a couple of those. Mag caught in the middle. He does have an RP here, but it's just going to be used defensively and only catches Scandal. Mag takes a fall. Venomancer, well, he's on the run, but he's going to just get completely ignored. Empire just going to push down the bottom tier 2 tower, it looks like. They don't want to have anything to do with this Venomancer. He's going to get himself back to base, but Empire win this fight with relative ease. Yeah, it's just... I, I, I think this is just too far for them to crawl themselves back into the game. They don't have a carry to rely on later on, and they're in such a huge deficit, they can't even team fight. And I don't see them coming back in any way. It's, they're just gonna try and defend and prolong the game as 
much as possible and maybe hope for a mistake from Empire when they try to ditch the high ground. Yeah, they're actually going to TP directly into this tier 2 tower. I'm not sure about this decision. There's a global silence, but Undying, he doesn't even get off his tombstone. Even with the global silence, there's just enough burst damage coming out from the physical damage. Brewmaster now goes blinking in, pops his ultimate, Mag trying to skewer his way in, but he's got no RP left. Brewmaster trying to finish off Shadow Demon does, will succeed in doing so. Vacuum hits two. Mag now on the run. Mag taking a lot of damage here. Brewmaster ultimate with the Dark Seed. Four heroes dead once again. Empire just, well, they're steamrolling through Photo right now. Silence are going to be the, the last of all. Complete the team wipe for Empire. <laughs> Four stuffs to the low ground, but that's not going to be enough to keep him alive. Yeah, it just came, came down to the fact that their heroes really relied on the early game. If they don't do well in the early game, they're just going to be in so much of a trouble later on in the mid phase of Protoss. It's like a all, all in on the early game. If they don't make the early game work, they went went so greedy. They picked up the banner just so the banner could destroy the TA and Empire swapped the lanes really quickly, knowing the fact that the banner is just going to give so much trouble to the TA. Yeah, even even if Venno got Venno got levels and farm, but Venno is just like you say, he doesn't do much in a team fight. You give him all this level and farm as a solo hero for what? Because he could not contribute much at all. He t he TP'd in like he did his best. Like his his play as far as his decision making, he knew he had to come to these fights as a side as as sort of that side lane solo. He wasn't going to be carrying this game, but the hero itself just isn't designed to sort of contribute to those team but fights. But the thing is, God, he he went for like a lot of farm and he didn't. He didn't get a mecha early on since he's TPing yeah. all around to support his team. That's what's surprising. He went for items like a bracer and a, a ring of Aquila and a Treads. Probably maybe getting the mecha is better for them because since he's always joining the, his team to fight as fight and they don't have the mecha. Yeah, I, de I definitely feel having that mech would have helped him out a lot more. As uh, Empire, well, Darkseer needs to be careful at top lane. There's <laughs> a lot of heroes merging on him. Four, in fact. Foda. Well, they get the purge. That's going to cancel off the surge. Milo, yeah. sorry, no, SS, does have that mech. Going to keep him alive a bit longer as well as the hood. There is going to be enough damage to bring him down, though. Zara makes sure of that one, but it's it just seems like a, a, a Foda just looking to save some face here. A kill like that is not going to change anything. <laughs> yeah, the Darkseer almost survived because the Shell Demon missed the Soul Catcher. <laughs> yeah. The level 4 Soul Catcher. One. And Darkseer has his pipe, so if, if he had his pipe there, that would have blocked a lot of that damage and he probably would have survived. Yeah, it's just, just you can see how bad of a situation they are in. It takes so much to even just kill one duck here. Yeah, as uh, Illuminate flying through the mid lane, and this is a lot of damage coming out from the Keeper of Light Illuminate the on these squishy heroes. Yeah, this is the last thing they have to do before they breach the next Rex, the Aegis. Yeah. And I mean, they're pretty much getting all the items that that they need to go for this early early high ground, to go for the tier 3000 Raxes. I like Brewmaster, he's gone for a Vlad's now. He has two auras with both the drums and the Vlad's. You can see a Desolator from Scandal, that's going to help with the push as well, get some additional minus armor to help bring down these towers a bit faster. And then you've got the mech as well as the pipe on the Dark Sea, so they've pretty much got everything they can hope for to go for a tier 3 tower push. Yeah, and for the side of Volta, they don't even have one Ghost Scepter to deal with the TA. Not even one, they're so poor. Yeah, Mag's still fishing for a Blink Dagger, he's just got his Arcane Boots and... I mean, basically at this point, none of these series have a single item. Four Staff on Silencer is the only item they, they've yeah, really actually gained. And dying at mid lane, he's gonna get burst down, doesn't even get a chance to pop off the tombstone. Beyond God like Bane! Go Black has just had a, a, a sensational game on this Bane as uh, Templar Assassin bursts down the Venomancer. Steely is looking for an RP, he's actually gonna hit Scandal with it, but problem is, he's getting gripped up and... That's, oh no, he doesn't actually hit the RP. He gets gripped up before the RP goes off, and the rest of the photo team getting chased down in their own base. They've already lost the bottom Raxes. Four heroes dead, and Silencer, well, he's caught in no man's land. <laughs> they're going for like a surround of him or something. No, they're going to give the kill to the Bane. They want God Black to continue his one thing I'd like to ask you as well, guys. Do you think the wards still work to wake your teammates up when he sleeps? His teammates? The Venomancer wards? Yeah. Does it wake him up like Dora one? I, I, it just popped up my, into my mind because I've never seen the Venom do it. I'm not sure. I imagine you can target heroes with them, so... Yeah, you can. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, 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 my mind... The way I, I... If I think about it, I think you should be able to. I think it should, it should, it should work that you can. Uh, I'll try that later. 
Yeah, well, uh, something else would need some testing here. Mag, this is the first time I feel like he's hit more than one hero in that ultimate. It's two this time. It's not going to be enough to get any kills right now. It looks like, I mean, the entire Empire team is just unkillable. Mech and Pipe, keeping them alive. You've got Scandal taking quite a bit of damage, but he's got the Aegis anyways. He's going to bring down the Venomancer, get himself on a monster kill streak, and the rest of uh, Foda are just waiting for their base to go down. There's really no fight left in them at this point, including the Silencer, who will take out a keep of the Light, but <laughs> saving a bit of face. Triple kill goes to Scandal, and well, it looks like this, this is going to be GG, because there's nothing Foda can have. It's been GG for some time. There's the call, though, coming out from Foda. They make it official as Empire. I, I mean, pretty much very, very routine. They, they, they didn't really get challenged here. Uh, they just played some overall solid Dota. Yeah, and it came down to the fact of the heroes of the, and the draft set strategy that Foda used. It was very, very risky. If they didn't do well in the early phase, Things would be so bad after that. Yeah, it, it really, it was really right from the start that Empire had to have a good, had to have sort of the stable lanes. The switch up, sending the TA towards the mid lane was crucial. Uh, and even though he was behind a bit on XP and farm early on, they just kept giving him that career so he could re continually refill his bottle. The top trialing worked. I mean, it worked well enough. They managed to sort of make sure Silence didn't get too much farm. And all in all, the photo just had no heroes farming, and they had no heroes to really keep them in in come mid game. Yeah, no one can hold the lanes to pick up the lane. That's why they were so thumbed up as far yeah. because they can't. No one can solo push out the lanes because they can just ki get killed by the TA. And yeah. when you mentioned yeah. the career using the career to refill the bottle as a side lane TA, it happened in the Gosu Cup, right? In the match in Orange, remember? Orange did as well when they ran the TA on a solo side lane. Yeah, yeah. Well, they they swung TA mid here, but they they knew they had to give TA the career to. Uh... To constantly refill because he was level one against mag he was like level two and a half because of the lane switch he wasted a lot of time and they spent a lot of time making sure that ta could sort of i mean get the get the early game farm that he needed yeah it's just a very routine that you mentioned from empire yeah well nothing to it for empire thanks for joining me winter for this star ladder star series cast we're going to be back soon i believe navi is going to go up against Virtues Pro in our next match. We're going to go have a quick commercial break, and then we'll be back soon with more Dota 2 action.